Your music, your stories, your life. BBC Radio Merseyside. Now, this weekend, if you fancy, you can get in touch with your Viking roots with a special festival. It's uh, going to be in Upton. You can experience Wirral's wonderful Viking heritage. It's a guided wander through this historical peninsula to tell us uh, more about how it's all going to work out is our very own Viking expert, Professor Stephen Harding. He's brought some, uh, well... Oh, he has as well. He's brought a little plastic bag, some ancient <laughs> artefacts uh, in the studio with him. Uh, good to see you again, Steve. Um, what, what have you brought? What's in the Hi, bag? Hi, Tony. There? Well, uh, listeners can't see this, but uh, in this bag is an axe head. And is this a, a real Viking it's axe head? It's a real Viking axe head. Wow. Yes. Am I allowed you, to no, take it? No, no, you can't touch it. Oh, I can't touch it. Special okay. gloves to touch it. Oh, I was just going to take it out of the bag. Good in, job you told in, me there. The that bag. looks as though. That's been knocked up about 20 years ago. <laughs> it do, I mean, it really does. Well, we do metal testing and things to ensure that it's not just a, a, a recent sort of deposit. That's a genuine uh, Viking Age. How has uh, that axe. managed to survive so well for all these years? Well, it depends on where it, it, in the sand uh, certain conditions yeah. favour preservation of, 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 eye, of, of iron and metal. Other conditions favour the preservation of, uh, of, of, of wood, so we're just quite lucky. And this is another piece. This is uh, the bent spearhead. So it probably wow. marks the grave, along with the axe of a, a, a dead warrior, because when the uh, warrior would have died, you know, Oh, they bend. They actually bend the spearhead to say thanks very much that's for, right. for everything you've done, His and that's, job that's is done. a mark of respect. Yes. Yes. So, how old is this? About eleven hundred years. So, in my hand here, which is about the size of my hand, this this spearhead is eleven hundred years old. Yes. And the axe head, which is the size of a big mobile phone, is is that from the same period? Same period, probably from the same bloke. So, when you find something like this, you know, as somebody who's so passionate about what you do, what's the feeling like? Can I give you these back? You can, yeah. Just pass, well, pass these were discovered back. in the 19th century. Okay. Uh, they, they were catalogued about 10 years ago. They're now in the Grosvenor Museum in Chester, so oh. they very kindly let us have this. Uh, and this is going to be part of the Upton Viking, or Royal Viking Festival at Upton, uh, which is tomorrow and, uh, and Sunday. And also the launch of uh, Wirral's Viking uh, Trail, uh, which, uh, which starts to, tomorrow. So it's going to be a great weekend. Why did they pick Wirral? Well, there's uh, that's a long story, actually, Tony. <laughs> You've got they about were, three minutes. <laughs> they were basically booted out of Ireland, uh, and, and Dublin was a very strong Viking, uh, Viking kingdom, and there was some sort of deal between the leader of the Vikings, Ingemund, yeah. and Queen Ethelfled, the Queen of the English. And uh, we don't know what happened. Maybe there was some romance involved. We don't know, but yeah. uh, they gave them permission to settle in lands in, in Wirral. We we know that from the historical records. And strategically, it's high, isn't it? Absolutely, and all the place names, uh, all you know, the the, the archaeology, and yeah. more and more things are being discovered uh, all the time, and it's it's not just the preserve of Wirral. Also, uh, on the Liverpool side, of the Mersey, there's lots of evidence of the Vikings uh, being uh, being here, and it's great now that we're starting to recognise this. And mm. I think the forecast is going to be several thousand people come to this this Viking festival. It's going to be the the biggest one for for a long time in the area. So. Yeah, I think the area is now becoming culturally aware wow. of its it, it, its Viking and heritage. Kids love it as well. Grandkids love it. Kids love it. Dads yeah, love well, it. Mums love it. You know, there's the stories, as, isn't there? Yeah, we, we grew up with the stories. Yeah, we, you know, we, we're both uh, Merseyside. But as a youngster from a group in Wallasey, I don't love this sort of stuff. But mm. no one knew about it. Yeah. It's only the last really twenty years. This is, I think I came in the studio. That's right. I remember. Yeah, a long yeah, time ago. Yeah, you gave me my Viking name. I think uh, right. all those years ago. <laughs> yes. Um, so to Tony the Not So Brave, I think I was. Yeah. But um, and I'll find out exactly where people need to be in a second. I just need to ask you about, you say they were booted out of Ireland. In my mind, the Vikings were like, you know, nobody could touch them. They were they were top of the Premier League. They were, they could never be beaten. That's the image that they Quite. Got. They were great raiders and nipping in, nipping out. But when it came to battles, uh, they weren't Not very good. that good, really. They yeah. had the track record wasn't that good. And uh, uh, yeah, so they did lose a big battle in, in Ireland. So they thought we'll go, out. we'll go over there, see it, see, see how it's nice there, over yeah. here. That's yeah, right, nice people. <laughs> and um, they were absolutely right, of course. Yeah, uh, this is it's going to be guided. This as well, so there'll be people who, absolutely who will be it's able part to of say, a, a yeah. Viking relics uh, roadshow. But there'll be lots of things going on. There'll be uh, a demonstration of uh, of sunstones. You know, these navigational aids, yeah. which uh, uh, it's speculation, but we think the the, the Vikings used these. Uh, there was something about the 
the Mel's boat, you know, the boat under the car park, which we're oh, yeah. hopefully going to be digging up uh, next next year. So plans are. I've uh, got some three D images of uh, of that. Is well, it? I've got a, I've got this model of what it might look like, which I'll be displaying. It's in a car park. It's unbelievable. Isn't it? Well, uh, you know, kings are discovered in a car park. Yeah, exactly, so in Leicester. Yeah, you're <laughs> right. Not? And where do people need to be? Steve? Right. Well, it starts at eleven. Well, there's t- talk tonight oh. by me. Uh, but that's unfortunately sold out of faith. <laughs> but uh, the event starts 11.30 tomorrow at uh, Warwick Park on, on, on the Wirral. There's, there's parking all around there. So I should be clear, 11.30 till 5.30. And on Sunday, it starts at 10.30 and it all runs right. till 4.30. There's lots of things to do. Uh, demonstrations, things. There's uh, axe throwing. Not that one, though. Not that, Not that one. one. No. Uh, Stephen, <laughs> we're going to leave it there. But always a pleasure to uh, to, to talk to you. Good to talk to you about this uh, all, all day. And I'm sure it's going to be great. And the weather's going to be OK. As it well. is this it weekend. Is yeah, you wouldn't believe it today. It's a terrible no, day. It's, but, uh, today's a dodgy day. The weekend's going to be fine. Great to see you. And thanks again. Okay. Thanks for letting me have a little look at that stuff as Brilliant. well. Brilliant. Thanks, Tony. Smelly in the morning. BBC Radio Merseyside. 